Hi guys, uh, this video is meant to be a little bit of a tutorial but also the very first alpha release of the tool I'm writing. Um, I'm doing this uh, simply because a lot of people, as I, I, I received a lot of requests from, from people to release the tool in this state. So the only thing I wanted to do then is build a little bit UI around it. So the tool is still packed with bugs, there is a lot of bugs and features that I want to fix and add. But this is the, the gist of it. You you would open the source file generated from Quixel Bridge, and then what you would do is you you need to have your your geometries. And for now, because I'm not doing any error checking, all these geometry needs to exist, and they all need to have the same ID space of each individual geometry, so they need to share the ID vertex space. They can be blendable basically. So uh, I, I would have this geometry here, uh, and there is like one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine geometries. Then again, because I'm not doing any error checking, I strongly suggest that you don't name this geometry the same way as this geometry. This is really simple, but I'm not doing any any check on the dark path of the object. It would it's very simple to fix. I simply didn't do it. Um, so this name here for the geometry should not should not be like um, log, log zero mesh for now. I'm gonna fix that. And the other thing I suggest is not really necessary, but you keep this geometry at zero, so overlapping. Not because it's really necessary, but because it's um, in case you want to do some transferring later on or shader uh, manipulation. The features that are currently missing, uh, I want to be able to specify um, retarget uh, textures like we saw in the last video, and then I want to I want to add more um, more checks and a slightly better algorithm to deal with the eye rotation. Again, the tool is still packed with bugs, but I'm releasing it because people asked for it, and that's fine. So the way you would do it is like you find you find the script into in the description of the video. You would say file, you download it file the open the script this is not the proper way to deploy a, a, a software by a for now it's just simple it's a monolithic script it's it's different classes but it's a monolithic script including the UI so you would open the script this will be it and then you drag and drop it in here if you prefer uh, let me hide these so you have your geometry they don't need to be under a group they, they can be anywhere um, I just like it to keep it tight and nice and tidy. Um, you have your geometries. You have you open your source file. Um, you import the geometries. You give give the geometries a name that makes sense to you, and then you would click here. It would generate this UI here, and I wrote some instructions here, uh, the steps, and then a disclaimer. Um, then you would simply feel feel. The, these fields. This is just a very bare bones UI. This is going to be made way more smart, but I don't have the time now to do that. Uh, geometry, I edge. And then you, in theory, hopefully, you just click you just click opposite meta human face. Is there is a checkbox here that says retarget to on face controls, and this is something I'm still working on, but it does it should work for now. This would take this control scheme and, and apply to the offset face. So I'm gonna try to use both. So if this is unplugged and I click off offset meta human face, you let it run, and um, yeah, so just while 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 it's computing. Um, the retarget on face controls is something I want. I really want to work on because when I'm retargeting the on face controls, I'm doing a lot of cleanup and remapping, but a lot of secondary and tertiary controls from this face rig disappear. They are still there. They are simply hidden because I haven't found a proper place to place them yet. It's just time consuming. You, you can see that this group is still running. It takes some time because it's computing uh, the delta for, for the joints is applying the delta as uh, in the joint skin cluster and is also computing the deltas for, for the shapes. Um, I think this is, is done now and in theory everything will should, should still work. Um, let's try this again but with the with the option on.
bear with me. So I still have it already everything in here. I'm gonna click again. And yes, uh, absolutely a way to retarget a uh, texture that you have created. It's, it's very simple to do. Uh, I, you just need to specify the directory path in here. Uh, but um, it's simply not there yet. Also, ideally, this would be a PyQt window. Uh, right now, I'm simply using the, the Python wrapper around the mail UI, which is a bit annoying. But it's, it was the quickest way to deploy a UI for you guys. Come on. And there you have it. Now the, the, the controls are retargeted on the face. And the controls are placed uh, following the new face uh, morphology. That's pretty much it. Bye.